Okay, so uh, it was um, the end of 2012, and I had just had a baby. Uh, I think she was four months old at the time. And um, so it was right before New Year's Eve, and I was following, I think Instagram was like just kind of kicking off at the time. Mm -hmm. And I had followed this girl that uh, was posting vegan, uh, like raw vegan desserts. And um, I was like really intrigued by it because I didn't really know anything about it and it kind of like sounded really healthy. So I sent her a DM and um, asking her about more about that diet. And I wasn't really interested in going vegan at the time. I just was kind of interested in like doing a new year's resolution for the new year coming up. Like I was like, oh, okay, maybe I could do like a 30 day raw vegan diet. And um, so she sent me um, some, like, books that I should read. Like, I she think she uh, recommended I read the 80-10-10 diet. And, um, and, and then she also recommended some, like, raw vegan cookbooks for me. So I ordered the book. I read the book. And, um, you know, I remember, like, New Year's Eve, I ate a hamburger. And... I was thinking, like, all right, it's going to be my last hamburger for a long time. But I really never, like, thought it was going to be my last hamburger. Um, so, anyway, I uh, started eating a raw vegan diet. And um, then I kind of, like, communicated back and forth with her for a while. Like, she was kind of, like, my coach. Um, because I didn't know anything about veganism. And so she recommended the, like, really good... Uh, vegan documentaries so i mean i watched like uh, i made a list like i watched food inc forks over knives educated food matters fat sick and early dead cowspiracy yeah. um and then she recommended i watch a video by gary yarofsky which was like the best speech you'll ever hear yeah. and um my husband at the time like he wasn't interested in going vegan but he watched all the documentaries with me so i kind of like i felt like i brainwashed him into going vegan too um, cause I remember one day he was like eating a salami sandwich and then he like couldn't eat it. And he kind of looked at me and was like, well, I guess I'm going vegan too. Um, so we went vegan pretty much cold turkey. Like overnight we didn't eat any more animal products. I think my husband ate fish, uh, for like six months. Um, and I was like strict 80, 10, 10. I actually made a separate uh, Instagram account just to promote veganism and raw veganism. And um, and I felt really good. I got super skinny though. And my husband got really skinny. And um, that was like our only, I was still breastfeeding at the time. Um, and I remember like I had to eat so many calories to feel satisfied uh i think i was eating like three to four thousand calories of fruit a day wow. um and my husband like he was eat he wasn't eating 80 10 10 and he was eating like cooked vegan food but i remember like being told that he shouldn't like eat cooked food because it's not good for him and if he did eat uh cooked food to make sure like he ate the raw food first because of like food combinations and it was just like so much information that we we had no idea what we were getting into but we both were really into the, the vegan lifestyle um so really we went vegan for our health not for the animals but I think that was just like a bonus for us like we kind of like felt good about not killing any animals and not supporting factory farming and, you know, all that. So um, we were living in Maui at that time, and then we moved back to California, um, I think, like, six months after we were started eating vegan. And then um, we felt fine. Uh, we were just really skinny and cold all the time. That was, like, one of my husband's biggest complaints. I think he would, like, go to work, and he had to keep gloves in his car. Uh, and we live in San Diego, so that's pretty uh, uh, crazy that you yeah. have to work gloves. Um, so 
I would say like a year into being vegan was when we started having like little symptoms. Um, my skin, uh, I remember like my forehead, like all these little bumps on my forehead. And I, I just thought, oh, it's detoxing and, um, you know, my skin's going to get better. And I never, ever in my life had skin problems. So that was like, I was really like self-conscious about it, but yeah. I just dealt with it. Um, I, uh, I guess it was like maybe a year and a half after we were vegan, I, um, I woke up one morning and, uh, I literally could not get out of bed. Like my neck was, um, it was just, I had no, no muscle strength in my neck and like, I would have to like hold my head up, like to get out of bed and I would scream like so, so loud. I remember it was really terrifying, actually, because I didn't know what was wrong and why that happened, and because I didn't get hurt, hurt, like I wasn't in a car accident or anything. And it was actually on my birthday, so uh, I I remember my husband like had to like literally like lift me out of bed to go to the bathroom, and and every time I had to lay back down, it was like excruciating pain in my neck. So I went to a chiropractor and. Um, I never really thought it could be like veganism. I just thought like what happened to my neck and um, uh, just started seeing the chiropractor regularly. Like every week I'd go to the chiropractor and he didn't know why it happened either. Like he was just like stumped, but he kept asking me like if I ever injured my neck. And I was 30, maybe like 35 at the time. I'm 39 now. So the only time I ever hurt my neck was when I was 21 and I like was in a rafting like boating incident but I never went to the doctor or or felt the need to go back then but I was 21 so I was like well why would he kind of said like it was probably from that but that was 14 years after so it didn't really make any sense to me but of course I thought oh that must be it you know I never would have thought it was like because I was vegan um but uh the the pain in my neck never went away uh like completely i always had like a really fragile neck my entire like rest of being vegan i like one time i sneezed and my neck went out uh and uh another time like i I don't know just like little things would happen and my neck would go out so i always had like a really fragile neck and I just, I, I remember saying, like, I felt like I'm 90, like, so many times I felt like I was 90, like, joint pain, and, and, um, anyway, uh, um, we, uh, so maybe, like, two and a half years into veganism, that's when we started noticing, like, more health problems, um, my husband, he kept complaining that he had really bad brain fog. He was always super tired, and um, he's a tattooer, so he, like, he would be tattooing and just, like, have no energy to, t- to work. He would get really sick and, and be in bed for, like, like, one time I think he was in bed for, like, two weeks straight. Um, he, uh, he had really bad brain fog. He had mouth sores, like, that wouldn't heal. I remember, like, he always had sores and cracked lips, like, right in the corner. Mm. Um, he, uh, he had, like, loss of strength. Uh, and um, I remember thinking, like, oh, maybe we just need to, like, add something to our diet. Or I never really thought it was veganism. I just thought, like, maybe we needed another supplement or maybe we're not eating enough greens or maybe, uh, you know, I just like kept thinking like, what could I change in our diet to, to make him feel better? I felt okay like myself, but, uh, I did have day like days occasionally where I had no energy. Um, and I just kind of just thought it was just having a bad day or something. Um, my daughters, both of my daughters were vegan also. We fed them a vegan diet. Um, and I still actually was breastfeeding my daughter, my youngest. So I think she was breastfed for like for four years of her life. Um, but when she was three, she started having like weird um, 
she would throw up in the middle of the night. Uh, and I kind of was thinking, I would write down everything she ate because I thought maybe she had a food allergy, but it wasn't consistent enough for me to like track. Um, and she often had diarrhea, which was another thing. My husband had really bad diarrhea, like stomach pains, bloating. Um, that was always a, a pretty common issue throughout our days being vegan. I'm wondering um, about the breastfeeding. This is something uh, that I'm curious about. Is it instinct to breastfeed the children longer when you're vegan or what is it? Because uh, most vegans try to breastfeed very long. So I'm just wondering. So I, you know, I'm not sure. If it, I'm not sure. Like I, my first daughter, I only breastfed for a year. Um, and then with Penny, I think like I, I never planned to, to breastfeed her for that long. Uh, but I think because like I was surrounded by so many like vegan influencers and they all promoted like extended breastfeeding and and baby wearing you know like they don't use a stroller they carry their baby yeah. in their pouch and and i thought yeah that stuff's like so lovely you know like it's like so bonding with your baby and and um it seemed natural to me like you know to let her wean when she was ready I didn't breastfeed her like all day long when she was three or four. It was more at night and in the morning. Um, but I think maybe subconsciously I knew it was healthy for her. And so I just kept giving it to her. Mm. Uh, but I guess it. she currently has still really bad um, digestion problems. And I think it has a lot to do with the vegan diet. Uh, we had to take her to get... Uh, tested for celiacs because, uh, I mean, at one point she had diarrhea for 16 days straight, uh, just water. Yeah. And she would vomit, uh, like, occasionally at night. And so I thought that, oh, maybe she had celiacs. I, I, I still didn't know what it was, you know, and, and uh, she didn't test positive for celiacs. So I think that she just, I just fucked up her digestion. Um, I'm, she's doing a lot better now though, um, but she's still trying to figure it all out. Um, both of their teeth, my oldest daughter was four when I went vegan, so she's nine now. Um, and they both have really bad tooth decay, uh, like especially on the, like the canines, like right at the top and the front, uh, all in the back molars are like totally like hollowed out. Yeah. And well, they're baby teeth, but still, like, gives me, like, really bad anxiety when I deal with that because I feel guilty. Uh, I mean, I brush their teeth and I floss their teeth. So I know a lot of, like, people like to say, like, I, it's because I didn't brush their teeth. Um, but it's just kind of weird because I have a son also, and he wasn't raised vegan, and he has really good teeth. So uh, I don't know, the like, know genetics can play a role also, but... Yeah. Crazy. Um, so anyway, uh, we knew we weren't healthy, but we didn't connect the dots to veganism that that time yet. So we want we went to the doctor. Uh, we went to go see like a naturopath doctor and get our blood work done. And um, and around the same time, like this was all happening, uh, I was I got an email from another vegan mom who um, was promoting veganism on her Instagram and she was reached out to by another mom who was influenced to go vegan and saying that her daughter was deficient in um, some vitamins and she kind of like was asking me like where do you get your uh, where do you get your K2? I remember that was like the one thing she kept asking me, like, where do you get your K2? And I, and she, and I, she wasn't being rude about it, but I kind of got really defensive, like, and I was like, leave me alone, like, we're fine, we're healthy, like, you don't need to try to like, you know, get me to eat meat. If you want to eat meat, eat meat. And then, um, but I think it kind of like clicked in my head, like something, she planted a seed in my head. And I realized, like, well, fuck, like, maybe I don't know 
like where we get our K2. And it was like, she kept saying K2, MK4, which is like from animals and that vegans can only get it if they eat like natto or something, like the fermented soybeans. Yeah, that's a and different kind of K2. Still, you would still have to convert it to the animal version, so you still can get it. And uh, there's absolutely no proof that we can convert it. So it's just a belief that it's possible. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, well, they think vegans think that they can get it from spirulina too. So I wasn't sold on it. I just like something clicked in my head from her telling me that, and I. And this was all coincidentally at the same time that we were getting our blood work done and not feeling our best. And the doctor recommended that my husband start eating eggs, at least, because my husband was not doing good. Like, I, he thought he was dying. Uh, he, uh, I remember the doctor asking him, like, if he drank alcohol and he doesn't drink because his liver was so fucked up. And he, she, like, couldn't believe that he didn't drink any alcohol. Wow. Um, and um, uh, so I'm even I remember I was so brainwashed. We remember saying, what does she know? She's not vegan. Like, <laughs> what does that doctor know? <laughs> and now, I mean, I, I can laugh about it, but just it's just that it just takes over your mind, you know? Like, you just think, like... Veganism is the holy grail. Everything like yeah. so. Anyway, um, so we went vegan in 2013. New Year's, New Year's Day, 2013. I went vegan, and then it was at the end of 2016, start of 2017, where we like decided, all right, something's got to change. Like we aren't healthy. We'll start eating eggs again. Um, and so we did, we started eating eggs and, uh, like some fish and, and chicken. Uh, it was really hard for me mentally because I, I felt really lost and I felt like I had to like unlearn everything that I had learned and, and given into the vegan movement. Um, and I felt ashamed and guilty and. I felt scared to tell like my vegan friends that I wasn't vegan anymore. Um, but um, I I didn't say anything on Instagram. Like I just kind of like stopped posting about veganism. But a lot of people still assumed that I was still vegan. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so. It's been all years that we haven't been vegan, or like a year and a half, and we're, I'm still, I guess, like, I just found your channel, like, a few months ago, because you made a video about one of my friends right. that's vegan, and, and they were telling me about the video, so I, like, wanted to see it, oh. and, like, right away, I just felt like, damn, like, he's right, I, I just really, like, everything that you said, just, like, resonated with me and I started watching your ex-vegan interviews and I just was like mind blown at all the, the health issues that seem like so similar to what me and my husband and our kids experience that I just knew like we're making the right choice by not supporting the, the movement and by eating meat again and uh so uh, it's been a weird process to not be vegan anymore, you know, because it's like you're brainwashed, you know, and you don't know who to trust. You don't know what's healthy. You don't know what's not healthy. And and as a parent, it, it's really hard because I, I don't care about animals. I care about my kids, you know, like they come first and if I have to eat animals I'll, I'll eat them but there a lot of I was shamed a lot and guilted and I just now like maybe like a week ago came out on Instagram that I wasn't vegan anymore and mm. pretty entertaining yeah because yeah what did it, they say 
they're trying to slaughter me. Oh, uh, that I should be ashamed of myself, uh, that I'm giving my kids cancer, um, that it's just an excuse to eat animals again, that I didn't do it right. Like, that was, like, the most common one. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't do it right. Sure. I fucked it right. Like, I ate... Oh my god, I, I ate, we ate really good, and, you know, we tried to avoid, like, all the fake meats, but we did eat them. I, it's just crazy, the mentality that these people have, right? and it, it, it actually makes me disgusted that I ever had that mentality, and, and thankful that I'm not there anymore. It's just such a dark mm. side of that movement, and it grosses me out. Mm. Um, were you also big into supplements? Oh yeah, I wrote down all the supplements that we took. Sure, yeah. So, uh, we took vitamin D, we took vitamin B complex, we took methylcobalamin B12, we took methylcobalamin injections. Okay. Uh, my husband took glucosamine, uh, we supplemented iron, zinc, magnesium, we tried taking bromelain for our joint pain. Um, also like algae omega-3 um we took we ate spirulina chia seeds hemp seeds uh vitamin mineral green i remember i would just mix vitamin mineral green in water and give it to my daughter to drink and uh we took iodine uh and we ate a lot of nutritional yeast you know because b12 uh yeah. So yeah, I mean, our fridge was so full of uh, supplements, like it was ridiculous. Um, and I think looking at that in our fridge, like, was another wake up call. Like, how the hell are we taking all these supplements? Like, we've always been relatively healthy all our lives. So we went vegan because we thought it was the the optimal health. You know, like we want to be thriving and and glowing and gonna work what do you think about supplements now do you think that they are healthy or is it just a business or what I definitely think that it's a business uh, because I feel like supplements are not in nature so like you know like I, you know what my husband always used to say like because vegans say like they're living like Adam and Eve or like they eat their natural diet, fruits and veggies. But my husband would always say that even when he was vegan, he would say, there's no blenders in, in, in nature. Like, when we're drinking these huge smoothies, like, it was like kind of like the, he always thought that. And I would always just brush it off. Like, oh, well, we live in 2015, of course. Yeah. What was it that made you quit then in the end? Was it just a combination of a lot of health issues and all of that? I mean, I think that, I think it was seeing the damage on my daughter's teeth that was, like, the biggest, like, wake-up call for me because I felt like when I was reaching out to other vegan moms and asking them about their children's teeth, that that was a really common issue. And some don't admit it, mm -hmm. um, that their kids have, you know, bad teeth like they, they would never like think that it was the vegan diet but it, it was very common in, in vegan kids to have tooth decay um so that was like my major wake-up call uh also I just felt guilty that I like got my husband to be vegan and he literally like almost died so I I was like I, I'll do anything to be healthy you know and uh also, I think because I was so, like, ashamed to eat animals again or animal products, that that feeling, like, made me hate being vegan. I don't know if that makes sense, but mm -hmm. it almost made me, like, embarrassed that I was vegan because I just, I don't know, I just felt like there were so many rules and, like, like uh, just like you have to live up to a certain like I don't know I, I don't know how to express it but 
like even like on Instagram, say like if I have a friend who's not vegan and they're posting a picture of them eating like in and out or like a burger, like I felt like I couldn't like the picture because like what would the vegan say? And I felt like that's so fucked up, you know, like I don't want to live like that. Like where I'm being judged by every single move, you know, and criticized and um, I just thought I, I don't want to be a part of it. I was so booked out. I was like, just give me the eggs. Just, I don't want to be vegan. Give me the eggs. Like, So that was what kind of like changed my mind too. Hmm. And were you vegan for four years then altogether? Yeah, okay. yeah all together for four years. Did you have vegan friends? Probably, yeah. And uh, <laughs> if so, <laughs> and are they still vegan? And if they are, what? how do they treat you now? Or what's how's the relationship um well i would say that i don't talk to them anymore um because it's like i know that i can't be myself yeah. around them and um they're always trying to like talk about veganism and how much they love it and and it's always like a topic you know like you can't go anywhere without talking about veganism and so i kind of like Maybe I just don't feel like I connect with them. Um, but when I came out that I wasn't vegan on Instagram, like, they unfollowed me because okay. they said that I was bashing the movement, and which I'm, I'm okay with. Mm. But, yeah, I had tons of vegan friends, and I don't really, I don't really talk to them. Hmm. No. Okay. Is there anything you want to say to them, or if they're watching, or any vegans in general? Just a message, something important. Um. Yeah, I just think it's important not to, you know. Uh, I think it's important not to, uh, you know. I don't know. I'm having a hard time like coming up with words, but. Basically, they promote veganism for everyone, you know, and, and they portray their lives as, like, so perfect and, and, and glorified. And it is enticing to, like, say, like, the, the regular mom who, like, wants the best for her family. And they see these glowing, happy people on Instagram. And then, so they're like, of course, like, they want to go vegan. But I think it's important to share that not everybody... Well, I don't, now I think nobody can thrive on a vegan diet, but I mean, I know there's people, I, I know friends have been vegan for like 20 years and they think that they're doing fine, but right. I don't think they are. It's just like a facade, you know, it's like a show, a business. Hmm. So of course, like they would never admit that veganism couldn't work for everybody because then it like goes against their business. Yeah. What do you think veganism is about? Where does it come from and where is it heading? Well, I never really thought that, uh, I never really thought veganism was, uh, was pushed on us. Like I never, I thought it was like not pushed on us because if you see like regular mainstream TV, like they don't talk, like they always show vegans like on TV as like weirdos. Um, but on social media, it's a different audience. So I think, you know, they're they're reaching for the younger generation. And it's growing. Like, I I know it's growing. Uh, but I know, like, I never really thought it was pushed by, like, the government until I heard you say that. And then I was like, well, yeah, that, like, totally makes sense. Because if they didn't want veganism to spread, it would be shut down. Like, they wouldn't have, like, vegan fast food chains. Like, I live in San Diego. There's three fast food vegan restaurants. Like, it's growing. Yeah. Maybe more than that. But I definitely think there's an agenda uh, to make us, you know, think that it's healthy and then, you know, make us sick. Mm -hmm. Any other health issues you maybe forgot to mention or? said about it well i made a list of all mm. of our it's like as a family combined so uh 
brain fog was big for my husband. Um, memory, like, uh, I remember, like, sometimes I had a hard time forming sentences. Like, probably still am like that now, but I get nervous. Mm. Um, fatigue, we had really bad joint pain. My neck problem, uh, the, my daughter's tooth decay. My gums always bled when I would brush my teeth, uh, which they don't bleed anymore after I started eating animal products. Um, my oldest daughter was always getting sick. Uh, like she even like one time had a cough that lasted like two months. Uh, and uh, just always little like little bugs she would get. And now I, she hasn't been sick in a year, so. Mm. Um, really bad gas pain and bloating. I remember, like, I would go to bed at night, and I would always have gas pain on my right side. Like, really bad gas pain, and, and I never had that before. Uh, oh, I also developed these uh, blisters in the middle of my fingers up right here. Mm -hmm. And they were super itchy. Like, they just look like little clear blisters. Uh, and they would last for, like, a couple of days and then go away, and then maybe, like, a couple weeks later they would come back. I don't know if that was from. The naturopath doctor said that he thought it could be like a form of celiac, like the, uh, I forget what it's called, like, it was like a cousin of celiac, which is like affects your skin. Mm -hmm. um, the mouth sores, dry skin, cracked lips. I, I always had dry lips when I was vegan. Um, we had really bad headaches. Uh, quite often, like I remember, I had a headache that lasted like four days. One time, I couldn't get out of bed. Um, we never slept through the night. I like not really good sleep patterns. Uh, uh, my husband had really low testosterone when he uh, got his blood work done, uh, and also we didn't really have a like high sex drive. And I had like vaginal dryness, like that was a like, big thing. Um, uh, oh, and all throughout my veganism, I had like, really bad anxiety and paranoia. I was so paranoid about every little thing, like, like just like a sound or like the girls, uh, would cough and I'm like, Oh God, they're getting sick. Or like, I would go to the laundry room and I think like someone's going to come get me. Like I, I had like the worst paranoia. It was super weird. I... I'm not like that anymore. I just, like, went away. I, I blamed smoking weed, though. I thought, oh, I just smoked too much weed. Um, so I stopped smoking weed. Um, but now I smoke weed sometimes, and I don't, I still don't have it. So I definitely think it was, because yeah. it's, it's all during the time I was vegan that I it was so, such bad anxiety. Mm. Um, but <sighs> that's pretty much my issue. So would you say that veganism was a mistake or is it just a lesson in your life or what? Mm, I don't regret it because I did learn like I learned a lot about like I think it's just like part of my journey you know sure. like I, I don't know where I would be if I didn't experience that uh, mm. so I, I don't regret it but I do regret it because it fucked us up. Like I, I, I wish I just would have like done more research, like on in an opposing view of veganism. Like I just trusted it so blindly. I, I just like I, I took everything in like it was like, it, like that was the Bible, you know. Like whatever these doctors said, like Dr. Greger and T. Colin Campbell or whatever his name is. Like I just took it in as that was it. Like I never thought to go look elsewhere, you know. I. I and I wish that I would have done more research. I didn't really know a lot about nutrition when I went vegan. I so I think that like was me like I should have like done more research. Hmm. That's what I regret. What do you guys eat now? Well, uh, mostly we try not to eat like breads and grains, and we really cut down on fruits and veggies. So. I'm eating, um, like, eggs and, um, and meat. Um, uh, try to buy, like, good quality meat that I can find here in San Diego. Um, I buy raw milk and butter. Uh, ever since I started listening to you, I'm just trying to, like, try it, you know. I, 
I am not trying to get all my trust put into what you say because I feel like I don't. I, I just I feel like I did that before and sure. like I'm I have a hard time like trusting anything. Um, but I actually really like how we feel. Like my husband says after he drinks raw milk, he feels like he could go run a marathon. Like he mm. he loves it. Um, I yeah. I, basically, like we cut out any breads, gluten, uh, we're not eating like nearly as much rice and beans and, and starchy foods. Um, veggies, the only veggies, veggies that we really eat are like cooked broccoli. Um, uh, and my daughter's like bell peppers and cucumbers. Um, and then fruits, sometimes we have uh, like watermelon, uh, which I'll just make like watermelon juice usually. Um, but I'm still learning. I, I, I kind of feel lost. Um, but I went out to sushi the other day, and I got beef parfar, and <laughs> I never, ever would have thought to try it, and I actually really liked it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And then when I do cook meat, I always, like, eat a little bit of it raw to, like, try to, like, get used to the idea and, and the taste, and it's it's not bad. I, I am pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, I don't think so. No? no? Yeah, thanks for sharing. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad I got to talk to you and share our story. Yeah. I just really, one thing I do actually want to say is that if you have kids and you're feeding them a vegan diet, oh, there's sirens. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. It's fine. Um, uh, so my only message is to parents, like, if you're feeding your kids a vegan diet, like, just, you know... Do some research and and make sure you, that you're checking their teeth and their eyes and and you know it's so important for the kids. I, it just breaks my heart that they just you know they say that their kids are choosing to be vegan. You know I I, I brainwashed my kids. I I bought all the vegan kid books. I had all of them. I you know I never showed them like the documentary, but I know parents who do show their kids how seriously. Of course, the kids are gonna say that they want they don't want to eat animals. Like when they're scared to death looking at you know an animal being slaughtered, but then to say like, oh, they chose the lifestyle. Like, no, no, that's that's a lie. Mm, they should at least give them the choice to eat meat and see if they want it. Yeah. So like they say, if you were to put a baby in a crib right. <laughs> with an apple and a bunny, that baby's gonna eat the apple. Like, well. <laughs> Maybe they should put some freaking beef tartare and see what the baby right. would eat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they like to twist it around and make it seem like so glamorous. And uh, it's just, I'm just thankful I'm not there. Yeah. Congratulations Thanks. to you and your family. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, too, for like making these videos and helping people realize, you know, like, I think once you hear ex-vegans speak up about the, the like, the illnesses that they've experienced, like, people start thinking, like, oh, yeah, like, I have that, you know, or, like, right. oh, yeah, I'm experiencing that, too, like, maybe I'm not feeling as good as I think I am, hmm. so I, it's important, you know, and so thank you, thank you so much.